Hello everyone, thank you for joining me again today on my channel. It's Allison for The Everyday Scrapbooker and I'm back again to share with you another simple Christmas card. This card came together so quickly, I'm fairly certain I had it done in five minutes flat. Like seriously. I cut a couple of frames from paper using close to my heart's stitched rectangles thin cuts. I cut one from blue pattern paper, which came from close to my heart's Holly Jolly paper packet. And then the second frame I cut was just cut from plain white cardstock. I set aside the blue frame and focused on the white frame. I wanted to add some stamping to it, so I pulled out a wreath stamp that I've had in my stash for a little while and decided to stamp it off the frame and I also wanted to color it in. So I pulled out a couple Spectrum Noir markers and filled in the wreath with those three colors. So I used ice blue, citrus green, and the light, light pink blends. I focused on coloring the leaves in the blue and the green and then the holly berries, which are also in the wreath, I colored in with pink. I wanted to go non-traditional for this Christmas card. A lot of the other cards that I've made have really focused on the reds and the greens and then some craft as well. And I wanted to go in a different direction this time. So I pulled out colors that are traditionally not used for Christmas, but have become fairly popular in the last couple of years. And I really love the way that it looks. It's so pretty. Now that I've finished coloring in my wreath, I'm going to stamp the sentiment in the bottom left corner of the white panel. I'm just using close to my heart black ink to stamp the sentiment. With those done, I'm going to adhere both the white frame and the blue frame to my card base. I'm going to adhere the white frame just with uh, my tape runner. So it'll be glued directly to the card base, but I'm going to pop up the blue frame just to give it a little bit of depth. So that will be added with foam squares. First, I'm just gonna add the white panel. I was trying to figure out which direction orientation I wanted the card to go in. I thought having it in the portrait orientation looked better than doing it landscape. And with that, my friends, this card is done. See, seriously, you could have this card done if you were to make it yourself in five minutes flat. It was that easy to do and it looks fantastic. All the products that I use to create this card are going to be in the description box down below this video. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subscriber and hit the little bell so you are sure not to miss anything that gets posted here. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd love to hear from you and leave a comment as well. Thank you so much for joining me again today. Oh, by the way, there is a close up at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that as well. There's just one. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you again very, very soon. Bye guys.